everybody, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, coming at you with floss tube number 138. So, view is a little different today. Everything's a little different today. Let's see, where to start? Okay, so I have news to share with you. I have a couple finishes. I have a new start. I have a design. Um, goodies to share all kinds of stuff. Today's video is not going to be as long. I'm not doing the let's go shopping. I'm not doing um, tips and tricks because there's just too much on our to-do list today. So we are in Surprise, Arizona. Mike is here, so if I sound a little stilted, it's because somebody's actually listening to me. Hi, honey. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yes, we are having fun. So we are in surprise. We got in here. Um, oh goodness, I shouldn't have tried to say what day because it all blurs. I think today's Saturday. Um, but the good news is yesterday or the day before, I think the day before we got news. I think it's the day we arrived, Thursday. We got news, right? That it's a timey wimey <laughs> thing. It's a timey wimey thing. We yeah. don't know. He did get news though that he got um, the background check is finished. He had final approval for the job in Idaho Falls and we have an official start date of August 30th. So, um, you know, we're hoping to spend a week here in surprise visiting his dad and just kind of chilling and getting some things done that we need to get done. Um, haven't worked out details with the mover yet, but we have to get back to San Antonio hopefully next week and pack out our storage unit and then fly back here, get the car set up to be shipped, um, and then start driving to Idaho. So, um, but hopefully this week we can get some good downtime and, and visiting with Mike's dad. Um, so yeah, it, um, we're just over the moon, needless to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's still a lot of details to work out, but but we're getting there, we're getting there. So um, that is all the news. Um, let's see, if you are on Instagram, you have been seeing a ton of posts for the Common Threaded Stitcher. They started this last year. It's kind of like a daily throughout August um, question about who you are, what you like to do. Of course, a lot of the questions have to do with stitching. Um, and I've been really enjoying seeing everybody's posts. That's pretty much the main thing you're seeing on Instagram in the stitching world these days, which is, I think is awesome. I'm really liking seeing everybody's, oh, how you store your patterns, how you store your whips, um, views of people's craft rooms, because in the not too distant future, we're gonna be in a house and I'm gonna have a craft room. <laughs> so, <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, if you're on Instagram, I invite you to join in if you aren't already. I actually didn't do any posts. Let's see, yesterday the question was, I think it was yesterday, um, you know how people choose a word for the year? I never do that. Um, my years change so much that, you know, whatever I started with at the beginning would change. I guess my, my word this year would be moving or change or adapting or something like that. I don't know, but I never choose words like that. So I'm, I didn't do a post today. Yesterday's post or yesterday's question was about whip storage. Um, again, being in the RV, most of my whips are still in Texas. So, um, and they're just stuck in a bin in a storage unit. Nothing very exciting there. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't answer that question yesterday. Um, I don't know what today's is yet, but anyways, it's really fun seeing everybody's posts. So I invite you to check that out if you aren't already. Um, okay, the other news, let's see, the friend to all, um, my last finished design that I did in the NPI silks, um, Fat Quarter Shop finally got the floss pack, the NPI silk pack available. I have a feeling it was it was um, out of stock, like notify me when it's in stock and I actually did that so that I would know so I could let you guys know. 
Um, I have a feeling they were probably waiting on a color or two to come back in stock. So it is now available and I will be putting the link below if you have been waiting to get that, um, get that floss before you start stitching that. So the other new thing is my hair. I finally got my hair cut yesterday here at a salon in um, Surprise called Imagine Salon and Day Spa. It is an Aveda salon. Um, excellent, excellent stylist makes me want to come back to surprise every time I need a haircut that's not going to happen but I'm I know there's an Aveda salon in Idaho Falls so I'm hoping I can find a good stylist there anyways um let's see the other new thing that I want to talk about um I'll talk about after I start showing you some stitching so I do have a finish as I mentioned and it is a major one get out my little board here prim stitch series now I forgot to put my name and date on it so I still need to do that I am not good at that at all and part of me always thinks you know I just need to get those labels and just put it on the back of the work um, so I don't know but anyways the stitching is done so this was the last block here I, I love it I think it is so cute Lots of time to stitch over the past week as we are driving across Texas and New Mexico and Arizona again. So stitching and knitting happened and I got this done. This will get framed. I heard, so the designer, Wendy, um, her designs um, from the Heart Needle Arts actually lives in Idaho Falls. There's so many of you there that are in Idaho Falls. I do plan total rabbit hole, rabbit trail here. I do plan on creating a stitching group when we get settled. I you know it'll be at a community center. I, I don't know what the options are, so I'll have to explore that before we get it set up. Um, I think I am going to ask that everybody be vaccinated. I hope I don't get too much um, slamming back for that. Um, but I feel it's important. I'm also thinking about creating a Facebook group, um, Eastern Idaho Stitchers, something like that, as a place that we can get together when we aren't meeting. The meetings will just be once a month. Um, you know, a chance to just sit and chat and get together and stitch. But the Facebook group, you know, we can share, we can organize the meetings, you know, all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think about all of that. I am, I, I really am amazed how many of you are in the Idaho Falls or greater Idaho Falls area. It just kind of amazes me. Um, so I am so looking forward to getting to know all you, but where this, com this <laughs> where this rabbit trail started was Wendy. Um, from the from the Heart Needle Arts. I hope I got your name right, the design name right, Aunt Wendy. She does gorgeous work. And she's been designing for years and years, so I'm sure most of you know her. But anyways, I asked her recommendation for framing and she did give that to me. So as soon as we get settled in Idaho, I, in Idaho Falls, I'll be starting to take my things to the framers because I have so much that needed to be framed. And eventually we're going to be in a house again where I can hang stuff up. And this is one of the things, actually, I think the first things I'm going to take to be framed are going to be the Star Center quilt, the design by Jeanette Douglas and um, Shades of Gold. So those two and Florographica, <laughs> all big projects <laughs> that'll need nice frames. Anyways, I'm thrilled with my Prim Stitch series. I'm thrilled that it's done. Um, and I love, I just love how it turned out. It's gonna be really cute framed and hanging in my stitching room. My other finish is just a little one. I did finish the first of Luminous Fiber Arts Misty's Jingle Jolly Joy Christmas in July designs. I have decided I'm going to finish these as pillows or ornaments or something like that. You can see I started on the second block. Um, 
I decided though that I was, I decided to put it away um, for now because number one, Christmas in July is over, but also I have priorities of other things I need to get stitched. This is 40 count, um, oh, what is the, what did you call this Misty? This is her own color, her own fabric. Um, something that sounds like a goldy color. I forget what she called it. But anyways, she created this fabric for these kits and I snagged up one of the kits. So it is the called for fabric 40 count. Um, I got the kit of the over dyed flosses and then added some other over dyed flosses for the rest of the floss needed. So this will probably come back out in December. We'll see. But that is another little finish. All right, so let's see. New start. I'm gonna show you this first before I show you my design. So Kaleidoscope. This Kaleidoscope Stitch Along with Fat Quarter Shop has started, I believe. <laughs> I'm so lost on time, guys, I don't know. Anyways, I had mentioned that I was doing the one in the book with the blue and the green and the navy but it is not DMC, so the colors I ended up pulling out, the dark blue is um, Weeks Dye Works, Michael's Navy. The turquoise here in the center is Classic Color Works, Caribbean Waters. And then I had mentioned the last time that I didn't like the green I had chosen, that I thought it was too dark. So I did pull out something else. The one I had got for it was Classic Color Works, Bean Sprout. It was too dark. What I pulled out of my stash is a Victorian motto sampler shop thread called just yellow green, and I like it a lot better. I think it needed that brighter green to really set off the two other colors. I am stitching this on 40 count uh, pewter by Picture This Plus, and this is a piece that I had in my stash. So I'm, I'm really, really liking how that's turning out. So that is my hour a day project. Um, it's been getting a little bit more than an hour a day because I wanted to get caught up. I kind of started a little bit late. All right, um, let me put this over here. Summer or Seasons in Lace Summer. I'm so glad I went with the purple. I am not a huge purple person. I very rarely choose purple as a color to stitch with, but I am in love with how this is turning out. Now, some of these purples are very close to each other, but this dark, the darkest purple, it is scrumptious. It's like velvet. It really is. It's gorgeous. So this is MPI Silks, the MPI Silk Pack from the Fat Quarter Shop Fine Floss Club from July. I'm stitching this on 36 count summer khaki by Xju Design. I think it's it's kind of got a bit of a greenish tint and I think it works really really well with these purples. So this is once I get the big my big mandala there done, this will be about 50% done. I would really I'm really hoping to get this done there it is. I'm really hoping to get this done before we start heading to Idaho. I, I, I'm not making any promises, but I'm planning, I'm hoping I will get it done so I can do one more video before we get on the road announcing the release of this. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm trying to spend, when I get a chance to sit and stitch, which I haven't had much the past few days, um, I'm trying to really concentrate on that. So there's a, there's a pretty good chance that I'll get it done. I might get it done by the end of this coming week. There's a pretty good chance that'll happen. So stay tuned. All right. Um, knitting. There was a lot of knitting that happened on the road because, um, Texas, the Texas roads weren't too bad. There were some stretches in New Mexico that were awful and some stretches in Arizona that were awful. We're going through the southern part of New Mexico. 
Um, and stitching just isn't pleasant to do when the roads are that bad. So that's when I work on my knitting. Oh, in the middle of a row here. I don't usually stop in the middle of a row, but I had a hair appointment to get to yesterday, so I stopped. So this is, um, I finished the second half of the Knights That Say Knit shawl. So that's what this is. And what I am, oh, this is so pretty in this light. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled with this. I, I love my color choices. So this is the, the ending of the, what's basically clue four. And this is the start of clue five, which is the beginning of joining the two sides together. So I do some rows of this stitch on this side. Then I get out the first half and do the same thing on that half. And then I put them all on the needle together and start stitching them together and knitting them together. So I think by the time I join you again, I should have, I would say I'll probably have it pretty well you, you kind of do when you're joining the two the two lengths together they come to points and so you're working this section on the needles until you get it all evened up up here and then you take those off well you bind it off and then you put the the stitches on the needle that were on waist yarn down here and fill in that triangle and so then you have a full length thing. I think by the time I talk to you again, I will at least have that top triangle done. We shall see. Um, one of the things I do hope to pull back out again, and this is all Lisa Smith's fault. So Lisa Smith, if you follow her on FlossTube, she is Kindred Stitcher. I will admit, I haven't had a chance to watch her videos in a while, but I do, catch her on Instagram all the time, seeing her progress on things. And she has had a couple really major finishes in the past month. And she talked about getting out hoity-toity again, and she tagged me. And you know, it's been calling to me ever, ever since. You know, Lisa Smith has been um, my enabler ever since I found her, ever since I found FlossTube, because she's one of the first ones I found on FlossTube back when I returned to stitching. And so this is definitely one of the things that um, she enabled me on. And so hoity-toity, I think this is about half done maybe at this point, maybe a little bit less than half done. So I might get this out again and start working on this like an hour a day just to get more stitches. This is one of the ones I really wanted to finish this year. And so, I think I'm gonna get it back out. This is my conversion of hoity-toity. It is stitched on 36 count. I think this is a mystery linen. Yeah, this is one of my mystery linens. Um, some of the flosses are called for, some are my own. I pinked up quite a bit of the oranges that were in there. And instead of a black, it's a navy blue for the, the border. And this is just so delicious. It deserves to be done and hanging in my new home in Idaho Falls. So, um, yeah, I think that needs to get some love. So you'll be hopefully seeing some progress on that in the not too distant future. Okay, that is all the stitching, but I wanted to mention another stitch along, which I will also be starting soon. Um, by Fat Quarter Shop called Stitchography. Okay, so they're gonna be starting this on August 13th, which is World Cross Stitch Day. And then the stitch along, I think actually officially starts a week later. I don't have the dates right in front of me, so forgive me for that. I will link to the blog and of course to the products. It is a downloadable pattern the called for colors are Cosmo and they do have a Cosmo pack. I am actually going to be changing up the colors. I decided I wanted something a little bit more muted for this one, which I know is kind of surprising, but I decided I, I, I just wanted to make it a little bit more 
soft. And so I went to all of my saved colorways on Pinterest. And I chose this one. Now, you only need six colors, so there's quite a few more there than what you need. I am getting some fabric from Fat Quarter Shop. I ordered the, um, I believe it's cream and sugar from Fiber on the Whim in 36 count. And so once that gets here, I will pull out the colors that I'm actually gonna use from this palette. But yeah, I, I, I think that would be really pretty. So that is another, I think it'll be fairly quick to stitch, but that's another new start. And that's another thing I'll just work an hour on um, here and there. But it is another stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. All right. Um, okay, I think that is all of the news. Now I have a few, a few goodies to share and then we'll be done. So... I did get the next Fine Floss Pack from Fat Quarter Shop. It is called Desert Sand. So it is the, um, let's see if it says which range it is. MPI, MPI Silks have, I guess they create them or they at least list them in color ranges. So this is the raw sienna range. So, I'm, you know, I'm not much of a, an orangey, yellowy type person, but these darker, rich colors just really speak to me. So, you know, I still have Autumn to design in my Seasons in Lace series. I was planning on designing that in the November colors, which are yellows. I may, just for that one, mix in some of these. I have to see if they'll blend well enough so that it still looks, not monochromatic, but tonal. Um, or I may just end up using these. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see until I get those, until I get those flosses. But I think that's scrumptious. All right, so that's the Fine Floss Pack from Fat Quarter Shop. And you know, I don't know once, once December comes, if they're going to continue again, um, starting in January. I don't know, of course, what their plans are, but NPI Silk has so many colors. I wouldn't be surprised if, surprised if they continue. So if you are not a member of the Fine Floss Pack, club yet and you want to join I would say go for it you're gonna get a gorgeous range of colors every month um, and it's a great way to try silks let me back up one step to my seasons in lace I did want to say um, okay so I'm stitching it with two strands of the NPI silk over two linen threads on 36 count which is what I've done with all, all of the all of those patterns so far have to keep it the same right um so far it looks like i'll need two skeins of that darkest purple i think i'll be okay with one skein of all the other ones but i'll need two skeins and that was is with two str two strands on 36 count so um you're definitely going to even if you're a member of the floss clubs um Whenever you go to stitch my patterns, if you're using the silks, you're definitely going to have to get an extra skein of, of at least one of the pa of, of at least one of the colors, if you're stitching on a larger count fabric. Okay, just wanted to kind of make that clear. Um, I, I say it every time, anyways, when I'm showing the patterns, but you'll need more than what comes in the floss pack. Now. Worried about dye lots? Yes. In fact, I had to ask them to send me another skein of the um, of the darkest purple, right? And I don't know whether the dye lot is going to be the same. So what I am doing is on the big mandala, I'm making sure I'm getting all that stitched in what I have, and then I'll start stitching the rest 
in the other skein I got. Now this, when I got the um, extra skein that I needed for spring, the corals, the dye lots were the same. I don't think the number was the same because they list the dye lot number, but it's still the colors blended in perfectly. There, you couldn't see any difference in the colors. So just keep that in mind. All right, goodies. Not getting much at this point. These that I'm going to show you, I had actually got these quite a while ago on um, from Stash Unloading, and I don't know where they went. And I, I did get these before I left San Antonio, but it was probably a good two months after I had, I had me pleased them. So anyways, first we have, this is Sheepish Designs, Red House, 119th Exemplary. So just kind of like the fun kind of, a little bit quirky motifs on that one. And of course, the house. Samsara Designs, I love Samsara Designs. Over the hill, find peace. This may be one, you know, one, eight of nine. So this is a series, but I'm fine with just having that one. I think that's awesome. And then Chessie and Me, Hope of Spring. I love Chessie and Me designs. So that is that. Now I will confess that when I ordered the fabric for the stitchography, I did order some more Blackbird design patterns, just in case. So the other things I got were, I got my StitchCon shirts because I had ordered these and then before I knew I couldn't go. So they're actually both the same color because I like this color, but this is just a short sleeve t-shirt, v-neck, and then this is a long sleeve hoodie type of thing. So that'll come in handy. I also got, um, so Kim Smith, you might remember that I had asked her to make some of her floss holders for Vicki Clayton silks. And I actually haven't, okay, so I started to say I haven't actually transferred my silks over to my silk holder yet, to my floss holder. So I wanted to show you, she showed me this fabric. And I said, yes, please. I want mine made in that pretty, pretty flat fabric. So what she basically did was she made the pockets, still a row of pockets, but not like in the line that they are, like over top of each other that you could fit bobbins in easily, but the spools kind of have a tendency to slide out. So let me go ahead and transfer my spools over to these and we'll see how it looks. Plenty of room in these pockets for the spools. Okay, so I have put my spools in the first two rows. I have more to put in, but you can see they fit very well. I can still kind of look in and see what colors they are when I'm ready to pull out more. So yeah, I think that's going to look really well. And then it just folds up. Well, there's, there's an issue. Hmm. And there we go. Now, I said there's an issue because where where the fold is coming up here, when I fold this down, the pocket is actually falling in the middle of this row of where the spools are. So I just had to slide it down a little bit. It's a magnetic snap, so um, it's very easy to snap in place. We'll see once I get the other spools in there how it works. So she sent me two. 
so I have one for you. Now, I will say, I am not going to be doing any more giveaways until um, we get into Idaho Falls. I'm, I'm not going to be dealing with trying to get um, things mailed while we're doing all this transition. So hopefully, I can get, um, not hopefully, I will get what I still have here mailed out, like hopefully this week I have to hook up to my father-in-law's printer to, um, to print out the mailing stuff because our printer is now stored under our bed. And we'll stay there until we get situated. All right, so the last thing I have is another giveaway. Again, it's not going to happen until we get into Idaho Falls, but I think that will be good timing. This is from Kim Whitney. Kim stitched this and then asked me if I wanted to use it for a giveaway. It is by Imaginating um, Ursula Michaels for Imaginating. Isn't that cute? So I thought, you know, once I get into Idaho Falls, it's going to be start of the school year. I thought this would be perfect as a giveaway for you to stitch for a teacher. All right, it takes a big heart to help shape little minds. That is so sweet. So anyways, be looking for that in September. And I think, let me see. So yeah, that's, oh, wait. That's all except the announcement of the Kaleidoscope winner. Duh! So you know I have the, I'm not going to pull out, it's all in the box. I have the book, I have the fabric, and I have the floss pack. And I have the, the thread holder thing for you. So that is going to Daphne Chamberlain. So Daphne, um, I will be commenting on your comment, but you will need to email me with your mailing address. And like I said, I plan on getting those things. I still have um, something else to send out from the last video, but I will get those in the mail here um, this week. So they're basically off my plate and out of my mind and we're all good. All right. Um, oh, and Daphne says she's going to be doing the lavender kaleidoscope in the lavender colorway because purple is her favorite color. So there you have it. Okay, so what the next few weeks are gonna look like. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll have a calm week this week and then we will be heading over to San Antonio sometime the following week to pack out. We'll probably be there two nights, three days. I don't expect it's gonna take them long to pack out the storage unit. Most of the stuff is still packed and wrapped, right? Um, so fly back here after that. And then we'll be probably spending a few more days here after you get the car shipped out. And then we'll be hooking up the trailer to the rig and it's gonna take five days to drive up to Idaho Falls. We're actually gonna kind of do a jig around. Instead of going straight up to Flagstaff and through the mountains in Northern Arizona, um, we're gonna kind of jig around them and go through Las Vegas and then back across Southern um, Idaho over to Idaho Falls so well, I guess Utah is in there somewhere too <laughs> I don't know um, Mike has the itinerary I just ride along and knit and stitch and look at all the pretty scenery so <laughs> looking forward to it anyways guys I think that is all for today know that I love you and I appreciate you I do have an angel card for you this says your life is a reflection of your thoughts and feelings Every day, choose joy, gratitude, harmony, and love. Some days it's easier than others, right? But I tell you what, we have been in such a better place with my quitting work and doing this transition, even not knowing for sure what was happening next or when. Um, we've both been in much better spirits and that is continuing. So yes, choose joy, choose gratitude, harmony, and love. Make that the focus of your thoughts. All right, guys. I think that's all. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. Know that I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.